on the justice court. The plaintiff, Chinaya Uzoma, is suing her ex-boyfriend for the refund of 250,000 naira she transferred to his account when the going was good. All right. Court in session. Honorable Judge Fumi Asaolu presiding. Please be seated. Your Honor, this case is between Chineye Uzoma and Ikechuku. Thank you. Ikechuku. Your Honor, ma. The person that brought you to court is not here. Right? Yes, ma. Um, do you know a claim against you? I don't know. You don't know. She claimed <coughs> you were once dating and you promised to marry her. And at a point in time, you had to live with her elder sister who was feeding all of you. Then over time, um, she eventually took part in a government empowerment program in which she was paid 250,000 Naira which she intended to use to open a shop because she's a fashion designer. But you asked her to transfer the money to your personal accounts because according to her, you told that the government empowerment team might decide to withdraw the money from the account again after paying the money in. So because she trusted you and loved you, she withdrew the money and sent it to your personal accounts then one day you went out and you never came back. Until another day when he called you and you told her you've moved on and you, she, you cannot marry her. So she's asking you to refund your, refund that 250,000 naira. That's her claim. I know you denied everything. Okay. And I know there's another portion where you claim you itemized a lot of items. Yes. That you said, I have the list there. Yes. You bought and they did not allow you to take yes. away from the house. Okay. And you had the price of 634,800 in one. Yes. And you have another claim of 350,000 naira cool. as well. Yes. So I know that um, she's not here. Do you understand me? So she's not here to listen to whatever you have to say. And it's possible for somebody to start a case and abandon it as well. She might have decided she does not want to go on with the case as well. I don't know. Do you understand me? Yes, my lord. So, but I expect her to at least to have informed the legal team as to why she could not be here today. If she has done that, we probably would have just agreed on the date and adjourn. But because she's not here, I'm going to strike out the case. Do you understand me? Yes, ma'am. Or you still want to talk? If you want yes, to talk, I go will, ahead. Just, just to chip in one. If you want to talk, talk. I will just talk, just briefly. I want to brief and make it close with the no time. Problem. You see, these people. Who are these people? Th them. They are Who are them? If you look at the 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 Chinese, Chizoba and the uh, Ebere. They Who are, are those other two? Say, she. I, I know Chine is a plaintiff. Yes. The, the, the sisters. They are the sisters. Elder okay. sisters. Okay. Elder sisters. All right. I've been in relationship with this Chinese for almost eight years. And just eight years, precisely. And you didn't marry her? No, I, it's not, I'm coming. Now, her life, I cannot write anything about her life. Several I have made attempts to go to their place to go and see their parents. They denied me. They never allowed me to go to their place. They are from, what I know is that they are from Ikedu, Nimo State. I got to until I get under the top of Mata. Several, almost every, 2015, I started making arrangements on how to go. They never allowed me. Rather, what they say that I have to go and see their uncle, which is the brother to their mother here in Lagos. That is the person I'm going to give a, a pay written about a, there is a traditional right. I said, no, I'm an Igbo. From a royal family, I know about culture. What we do, we can't marry, it's not your mother's side we give you hand in marriage. Is the father. 
Therefore, if we can't go to the village, what do we do? They keep on trickling me, trickling me until this time around. Now, on this issue, several, this, this person in question, I think anybody that can stay with China for more than six months, I promise the person something that I mean, I'm tangible. <laughs> but I managed this woman for eight years. Now, this is the person that you can't correct her. You can never correct her. And if you try to correct her, there are three signs she gives. One, she will just ease the kind of show that end up the people outside. <laughs> people outside the trade street will hear. Then at, at the end of it, what you do is you, do, you stand away with it, to, and I have to do it, to do it. With sound of mouth, boom, bah. Otherwise, you just turn eyes like this. That's all. For, for the whole week or weeks, she can't talk to me. And this thing keep on happening every time I try to correct, correct her in a particular action that she's taking. Whenever I try to call the other sisters, look at this woman. Please help me. What do we do? What she's about to tell me is that she manages the way I see her. <laughs> That's her statement every time, not more than 20 times. And I don't like reporting somebody. So I keep on trying. I thought, I thought I'm, I'm going to manage her, change her. But things are getting, getting worse every time. May God have it. She fought my landlord. I went around. That one just quickly. I mean, I came back, she gave me a quick notice that she packed. So, okay, no problem. I can only beg the way I can forgive. She said, yes, I forgive, but I will pack. Then on the process of packing, I'm trying, I'm trying to make arrangements on how to get a house and that place. Then the following two weeks, government, I don't know what happened. I never, I never the place is even legal uh, structure. Come on, I come back that they, they have marked, uh, they said, remove within one week, pack out within one week, want to demolish the whole uh, building. That is the case between there and that London. I tried to mediate with the government. Of course, the letter gave me two weeks. So I have an option, I had to pack my properties to her. She advised me. She said, I, went, I, I was at work that day. Before I come back, she have already, already, already arranged the whole property. She said that we're taking to her sister's place. That's where she will stay until we get a house. I agreed. With my, with, with my humble heart. When we got there, when we go there, and even the day is that they have a kind of plan because they're the most elderly one whom I thought because I, my, my, my parents are not in Lagos here. And I was trying to have them as the only family because they are, they, 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 they are older, older enough. But what I, was, what I began to see is not what I can condole. When I went to the place, in short, to Capitol, and that is how they used to do it, I don't know, but they will start to fight from 11 o'clock around 3.30, fight. <laughs> they, they're not a laughing matter. It's a serious issue. They will fight from 11 o'clock to 3.30 in the morning. Wait, you made it 3.30. All, all, all of them go to sleep. Not, 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 nothing happened. If I try to intervene, please, this thing, would, but in short, the other day, the woman, the other sister, I think it's about seven, seven, seven or three about, the most elderly one, said that if I talk, she's going to use a knife to to chuck her to chuck her at my presence, yeah. so I keep up. That is, I will keep up whenever they are fighting. Sure, and that fighting is almost every two, two days or, or every day. So far, it is 11, 11, 11, 30, 11 or between 11, 11, 11 and eleven thirty. There must be fight inside that house. Is Tizida, Chizoba, and Chinenye fighting, or Ch or Chinenye and Ebere uh, um, uh, is fighting? In short, this thing has taken me to all the police stations. Since I was born, I got that there is a high school at University of Calabar, but I've never been in a police station. But because of them, I've been, it was through them I know that the place called Chinese uh, Rob Police Station. <laughs> I know the one called Red House. They are not the one I call Rear G. I know the one called Okoba. So, then that, that, those are divisions. Then the post, police post, is, that, that was about five. I've, I've been, just for their cases. After finding out, either one of them calls police to each other, or two, two or three of them go to one police. I have to follow them to go and release them. Hmm. That keep on happening. Until during COVID-19, everybody knows how things went. Honestly, that period was too terrible. God so kind on my side. Government of Lagos State now gave me some bags of rice, just uh, um, palliative. 
and love a lot. So many things like that. I told you to them. That thing, I tell you, they, they, they wanted to kill themselves because of that particular thing. <laughs> How they used to do it, I don't know. Now, the one part of it, what made me leave those people is this. It got the time whereby my life was not safe. After cooking, which I give them one to do, to cook. The, 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 the most elderly one, no, their fight is always between 11 o'clock and 11 and 11.30. <laughs> Sometimes I come back late. Immediately, I'm, I'm, immediately I start to eat. They begin they be to fight. <laughs> they have done that to understand that they have used the, 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 the water they wash hand. That dirty water and pour in the soup I'm eating. <laughs> That's the first one. Second one was the same thing. They were using, using broom. They used to fight. <laughs> begin to turn the food I'm eating. <laughs> that, that has happened more than six good times. And I keep on enduring it. So I don't know where to start any longer. Just okay, because of this. Now, I want to leave because every time I have seen that I can't continue with you. Because for the past years I've been with you, I thought that you have, as you come here now, that this, this, your, your elder ones, you are the, you are the last born. You know, that thing that led them to so many police stations, which today they know me in different police stations as the, the, the wife or the, the husband or the, or, or the brother to the social so people. So I know, it's not by surprise, I, I, know, I know that uh, coming here, she just, she, she thought that maybe, because I don't talk much and I don't like talking, that as she pushed me like this, then I would just quickly say, yes, yeah, don't, don't, don't worry, come here. And I, I like coming, to, I, just, that I want to come to court so that I want to make my claim, because though my property is, I need it. I, know, I need it now, because I know I can get it. So you still have things in their possession now? Yes, 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 they are there, all those so are there with That's you. the one you want to sue for? Yes, I want, I want to get my property because I no longer, because previously I wanted to leave it for her. But because she's trying going about, now even calling some people that they're tarnishing my image, trying to develop me before some personalities. I told them now, no, I'm, I'm, I must collect all those things so that let me teach her small lesson. Okay, with what you have said now, I believe she deserves an opportunity to be able to respond to it. Do you understand? Okay. But there are some allegations made now. Yes. So I'm going to adjourn it. So we give her opportunity to reach out to the legal team so that they can set up another date for the tour. Yeah. And that I think uh, that today they were calling her. She was telling them wrong number, wrong number, wrong number. Even me, I called, she said the wrong number, the same line she's using. The plaintiff is not present in court. Judge for me adjourns this matter. Matter is here by All right. If your baby daddy is denying paternity of the child to avoid upkeep or you suspect misattributed paternity situations, submit your case online at www.thejusticecourt.com for a prompt resolution of the matter. <laughs>